Okay, so I am like totally embarrassed. I um I have to like redo all the uh, inventory videos because I uh, messed up. Like you could only um I I hadn't tried it with more than one type of item, so I only had coconut. And when I tried to add some other items, it wouldn't add them properly. So I had to recode everything. Um, I hope that uh, you guys um, were e either able to uh, figure out what I couldn't, or uh, were smart enough to move on to some other place. But anyways, now I hope this will uh, help you um, do this better. And unfortunately, it's a little bit different. Um, every item in this is stackable, so coconuts only have one slot, so it's still, uh, it's still, like, um, like, uh, checks each slot and, um, and m looks for the next available space, but, um, that's only if you, uh, add, uh, a, a, uh, new type of item. Otherwise, uh, if it finds, say for example, if coconuts are already in your inventory, it will, uh, if it runs into it, it'll autom automatically stack your new coconut into that stack. So, um, that's kind of how it works now. Uh, really sorry about that. And, um, the, uh, more realistic part is, um, it has weight, so the player can only carry so much weight for the inventory is considered full. So that puts some restrictions on the inventory and that's good. Um yeah, so welcome to uh item setup version number two. Okay. Um so as you can see, um I've added quite a few more scripts uh to this and I will go over them and some future stuff. And, uh, right now we're just going to be focusing on the invent, invent in it. Okay, so, uh, for those of you who are just watching this and have last watched the, uh, one-dimensional array tutorial, know that we are now moving into two-dimensional arrays. And, basically, two-dimensional arrays, uh, instead of, uh, just, uh, one number inside these little brackets. There are two. So, duh. And, um, the first, uh, number is the identifier of the item, or whatever the variable, uh, is. And, uh, is the identifier of the item. So, zero, uh, item zero is zero, item one is one. And the second number represents the variable within the variable, sort of. So, zero here represents the name, one represents the description, two represents the sprite, three represents the image index, and four represents the added weight, and so on. So, uh, so the name is money, the description is some shiny golden coin, sprite uh, is sprite invent money, image index is zero, because there's only one image in the sprite invent money. I guess you could always add silver or copper coins if you wanted to. I just have gold, or more like yellow coins. Uh, anyways, the added weight is kind of, re has replaced the max item amount. So originally, the uh, items were stackable to a degree, but now they can stack in pretty much infinitely until the uh, player can't carry any more weight. So money doesn't add any weight because, well, if you're going to be getting like hundreds of coins, you don't really want to be about to add weight. So that would be kind of miserable. Um, We'll be getting into options later. You can have up to five options and five scripts to go with each individual option. So, option zero, look, and option zero has the script. And yes, like I said, we'll be getting into that later. And for food, um, there's still our trusty old coconut. Uh, but it, 
has pretty much every option you can think of. Um, well, not every option you can think of, but the basics. Um, so it's item number one as opposed to zero, and it has all the same uh, number variables as uh, here um, as second numbers, second identifiers. So it'll go through the names, uh, the description, the sprite, the image index, and in this case it adds one weight. Um, it has all the options, except um, instead of just having look and drop like the money up here, it has eat and equip. So you can't really uh, do much with the coconut here. And, I mean, you could probably throw it at someone, but that's about as good as it gets. So technically this is not going to stay this way in the finished thing. It's just there because I don't have any swords or anything yet. So, man, my player has to have something, huh? Alright, we'll be getting into equip and options later, but just wanted to, well, show that. And unlike the uh, previous version of this video, um, there is one more uh, uh, secondary variable here, and that is that represents the um, object that will be drawn on the ground when the uh, item is dropped. So, object coconut will appear on the ground um, if you access this uh, variable right properly. Um, and uh, that really uh, is about it. And I'm really sorry I haven't been on in a long time, and I'm sorry I had to change this stuff. Just pretty embarrassing, and uh, I've been busy. But uh, that's it, so well, thanks for watching.